Dr. Juan Cicada, co-founder and senior VP at uh, Capsenta. Yes. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, uh, you just finished a talk. Yes, I did. How did that go? I think it went very well. Yeah. So it was a talk on virtualizing relational databases as graphs. Okay. A multi-model approach. Okay. So here we're at graph day and everybody's talking about graphs. Um, a lot of the, my research and my background has been on, on understanding the relationship between relational databases and graphs and semantics and how what does it mean to put those two things together yeah and uh, my, my starting point is saying you know what if you're if you're coming from a relational database and you're seeing a lot of talks here about hey I have a relational database should I move to graphs or stuff my point is say you don't need to mm -hmm. depends on your use case yeah we can virtualize your relational database as if it were a graph mm. so you can query the relational database using a graph query language, and you can think it's a graph, but it still stays where it is. Interesting. So, yeah, yeah. a marriage, then, of, of two things that were considered... Exactly. So you don't really need to say, oh, I need to think about moving my database to another... But coming up with a new database and moving things and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And saying that, how can I make these two technologies work seamlessly together, mm -hmm. nicely? And and that's what we're doing. And that's what Capsenta does, right? Yeah. So Capsenta is... We created a smart data virtualization platform to mm -hmm. be able to integrate your data mm -hmm. without having to move it. We mm -hmm. call it no ETL approach to data integration. Okay. So the, the, the status quo for the last... 30 years forever has said, I need to integrate data coming from different databases. What am I going to do? I'm going to create a new warehouse. I'm going to mm -hmm. study all my different sources and figure out how the schema and writing all these ETL scripts to do things. Yeah. And, and it takes probably six months and a million dollars to do that. And yeah. once you're done, somebody says, oh, I can't answer a question because I forgot this and you go <laughs> back to the drawing board. Yeah. We're, our, our goal is to up make ETL obsolete. That's we want to be able to very quickly in, from day one, be able to quickly integrate your data without moving it and show you value from day one. Yeah, and that's awesome. And it, it seems like ETL's been like just a major pain point for everyone in, who works in any sort of data since the dawn of data. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's a huge pain. And yeah. then the problem is that somebody writes ETL script and it's all just code and then you can't reuse the code and the person who wrote it left the company and then you have to go look at it again. Yeah. So there is no governance of that. So in in our technology stack, what we do is that any types of mappings are all in declarative manner. We've created user interfaces and stuff to be able to, to, do the, to create the mappings and the Integration. Mm -hmm. So for us to integrate data, you don't have to move your data, you don't have to write a single line of Java code or any type of code, mm -hmm. and it's completely declarative, and we can start integrating your data in a matter of days or even hours, yeah. and you can start seeing the value immediately. Uh, I like it. You're, you're a good salesman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, not only the sales, but it's 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 the it's the years of, of research that we've been doing to understand yeah. how to be able to to get these two technologies to work together, mm -hmm. uh, and from the scientific point of view, understand the relationships, the the the, the performance, and everything. So it's it's uh, Capsent is a spin out from uh, UT Computer Science, okay. where I did my PhD. So it's after it's taking all the research, the yeah. science, yeah. and we've we we are commercializing it and, yeah. and taking it into practice. That's good. So yeah, it's not just buzzwords. These are hardcore, like, yeah. This yeah. is hardcore. Yeah. So, um, uh, as far as like, if someone wants to see a demo of what we're talking about, like, yeah. uh, have you given a talk that's already on YouTube, or, or can we go to the website to find like to see it and see it? You can, yeah. If, on our website, you go to capcenter.com. We'll have a section about uh, materials and tutorials, and you can see a video of literally in 15 minutes. We'll take two different databases. We will map them together. Mm -hmm. We're able to query them mm -hmm. all. In 15 minutes, you start with two different databases. In 15 yeah. minutes, you're starting to query everything together. Wow, so you can see that as a graph, as a graph, as, as a graph. graph. So, yeah. what we internally, what we do is that we represent our the relational data as graphs. Yeah. And then, uh, in particular, we use the, the the W3C standards for graphs, so called RDF and Sparkle. And then at the end, we're able to query all your different relational databases and graph data together mm -hmm. using this one single query language, Sparkle. And then from there, we have bridges and connectors to go up to, to connect to your uh, API, to, to, to your BI tools, mm -hmm. uh, or you can also you have APIs to be able to connect to the, to the integrated data altogether. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, well, you know, one more question, and I'm going to step, uh, 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 just one step back, uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more, you know, like uh, basic. Uh, you know, when, I, when, I look, when I look up your name, I see semantic web yep uh, all over it you mm -hmm. know and uh, you mentioned you know um, uh, w3c standards and that sort of thing but you know I was wondering if you can you give us a layman's explanation of what what like what does that mean to us semantic web semantic web it's semantic web is basically using uh, 
making data first class citizen on the web. Mm. And that has been the vision from the beginning of the web, actually. Okay. So it's being able to, for, for the, web, the web as we know it today, mm -hmm. is basically a bunch of documents with links between them. Mm -hmm. So if you go, you, you will go to a website, you click on a page, it takes you to another page. Yeah. But really that page, that document, has information behind it, has really, has data in it. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is to make that data explicit. So mm -hmm. when search engines or any type of user or application goes, they can extract that information mm -hmm. and, make, and make use of it. Yeah. Now, because it's a web, right, it's a graph. And so this data is represented as, as a graph. Mm -hmm. And what you also want to be able is where the semantics come into play is to be able to have kind of add some structure and some meaning to that information. Yeah. So for example, uh, uh, Google, Yahoo, and Bing have gotten together and they've created something called schema.org, which is basically their schema of, of all the things that they care about in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go and what they're asking people is, hey, if you have your website about events, here is the schema how we want you to tell us about your structured data. Right. So instead of writing your HTML and saying, hey, here is the name of the event, here is the price, here is what, what, what time we open, mm -hmm. right? And having that just in raw text, give me that structured data. Mm -hmm. So when we go crawl it, we, it's, we, we know what it is exactly. And yeah. we know in what terms of the schema is. We understand what it is. We know that this is an event. We know mm -hmm. that this is a concert. Mm -hmm. This is a music event. Yeah. That's where the meaning comes in. Right. So anytime you go, for example, now you go on Google and you search for something like Austin, mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a little what they call a knowledge panel mm -hmm. on the side. Yeah. And that's all information that they're creating called a knowledge graph. And because now they're integrating data that comes from uh, different uh, event sources. And you can see all the concerts in Austin. Mm -hmm. Because it's all a graph and they know that this is Austin. It's a music event. And that's nice. what the meaning is. And you, do you feel like the adoption of that of that um, you know uh, schema that you're talking about it has, has is proliferating nicely, or you like are people taking advantage of that currently? So it's coming under the curves, okay. uh, under, under the covers. Yeah. So from the the if you talk about graph databases, so people are always talking about the Neo4j's right and Titan and so forth. And yeah. This is the property graph, and really, in my opinion, it's that they have a lot of money, great marketing material, and they're going out with it. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other side, you have the RDF graph databases and the triple stores. And um, usually they're considered in different camps, but now you can see native RDF graph databases that are supporting uh, the whole property graph. Mm -hmm. um, and the big companies, so Oracle and IBM, they all have originally had RDF graph databases support within them. Okay. Um, so you're seeing a lot under the enterprise uh, who are using mo mo a lot of the RDF databases. So in financial services, uh, it's very prolific, and also in life sciences and healthcare is what we're seeing a lot of that. So it's not something that the consumer or developer is not, they're, not they're, they're, they're getting targeted with all the market stuff, but what we're seeing in the big financial domains and healthcare domains, uh, the RDF and the semantic standards are, are very prolific because they're actually standards, and that's very important. Yeah, that is very good. Uh, 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 now, Capcenta, uh, uh, in the last question here, I want to ask you: what are, what are we looking at for growth? Like, uh, wh what are we expecting in 2016, 2017, and, and how how are you, how's the company growing right now? So um, we're we're very we're in a very exciting situation because we have. We're gathering all these requirements from our customers right now, mm -hmm. and understand we're we, we're. Our, our product roadmap is we just have so many things to do, which is so exciting. Yeah. Um, so our goal is to be able to, ex we're expanding to, to with people who have a lot of the semantic awareness and graph awareness and be able to say, their customers who are thinking about graphs, we're giving them the tools. Mm -hmm. Another really nice, shiny, really cool hammer to say, if you want to work, if you have relational databases and you want to work with graphs and want to integrate data and you don't want to move your data, mm -hmm. this is the new, shiniest, best tool out there. Yeah. So we're going out and for in identifying find all those all those types of people who work with uh, clients who have those data integration needs. And then we've seen in healthcare and financial services <clears throat> the need of being able to integrate data without having to move it. Yeah. And then across uh, we, then going forward there's a lot of work on on more federation mm -hmm. and also search. Yeah. Being able to search and have what we call semantic search over uh, all your disparate different databases. Nice. Uh, well, it, it's, it's very exciting times for you guys. Yeah, I mean it's it it's um, it sells itself, you know. When when you tell people, oh, what's that? No ETL, okay, and you know, and I can just take this data and magically sort of become a you know graph, you know. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, th th that's cool and that's good. And and we thank you for taking the time to come talk to us. Um, and. Uh, and thanks for, for giving the talk, and uh, we hope to find out more maybe at uh, the next Graph Day. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you very much. Appreciate right. it. Take All care. Right.